Welcome back and let's, before we move on to the next stage which is going to be mic amplifier, whatever you speak gets amplified for rest of the board to process when you transmit. Uh, let's just look at what we have done so far. This is power supply as I mentioned before, followed by the switching circuit that we did. In case you have just landed on this one, I suggest go back to the sequence start from the first video uh, in, in the series uh, so now you know where exactly we are but just for a quick revision power supply switching audio amplifier a side tone oscillator and then this is the next stage we recommend that you construct uh, this is your IC741 LM741 which is used for mic amplifier uh, very few components again, one preset for changing the mic gain. This preset is used for changing mic gain, 100 kilo is the value. A uh, couple of resistance, electrolytic ones. This is the coil that has come along with the kit. Looks like a capacitor. Uh, the distinction here is the one without a red dot belongs to this portion. And the ones with red dot, these are 250 micro Henry coils. So these have to go in, in the VFO section. So coming back to the mic amplifier, here is a, a view of mic amplifier from top. And there is a jumper here. This jumper is for connecting your microphone. Let's look at the microphone here. This is a condenser mic, a little baby with a connector. So I can make it as I connect it over here this is where you're supposed to speak hello 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 CQ 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 hall 123321 testing 123321 well once you have again uh, verified that there are no short circuits on the board and uh, everything has been fixed as it should be uh, before you give supply to the board just have a quick look where the supply line uh, the one where it's coming from does not have a short circuit and then once you're comfortable switch on the power your LED glows here press the PTT this is the PTT switch so I fix it out here so as you press the PTT and you speak in this microphone and if you give a connection from the base of this capacitor onto this jumper just as we did for the side tone oscillator if you remember we, we gave a connection from this jack or this jumper pin onto this place or audio amplifier what's going to happen is as you can see here is my jumper I have used from the bottom from the base of the IC and so putting it from top uh, and this is testing section so I'm not putting it in a fixed connector or something right now and it's not required for your final stage as well so right from here it goes onto the same place where my side tone oscillator connector is coming from so both of them land up at this place this is not recommended because you'll have a, a, a distinct noise in the circuit all the time so once you've tested the side tone oscillator I recommend you remove this you have verified and you don't need to keep it left it connected this is the one coming from your uh, mic amplifier out here that's it so everything is ready just press the PDT press the PDT switch when you press the PDT your relay would make the click sounds click 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 and as you speak in the microphone your speaker is going to amplify whatever you speak so if you can hear a good audible tone uh, I mean whatever you speak if you can hear that back in the speaker this section your mic amplifier is working fine and you're set to move on to the next stage which would be a BFO and VFO we'll, we'll look at that uh, in, in coming days uh, for now I hope you you start constructing your ATS with these small clips and then uh, also visit uh, vu2.in to, to have a look at uh, uh, the material the write-up uh, on this uh, circuit 
Adios for the time being and uh, 73 as I should say. 73 and have a great day ahead.